For years now, we've been looking towards a future where fully autonomous, pod-like, self-driving cars take us to work, pick the kids up from school, or head to the store to pick up our groceries for us without making us sit behind the wheel in a traffic jam. It's all very futuristic and utopian. The reality, of course, is a little less Blade Runner and a little more down to earth. As more and more companies invest in autonomous vehicle technology, the number of companies testing autonomous car and autonomous truck technology around the world is rising. And if you live in certain places like Silicon Valley or Phoenix, Arizona, self-driving vehicles are becoming a pretty regular sight. But have you ever seen a self-riding motorcycle before? I have, and if you're a motorcyclist, it could help change the two-wheeled experience forever. Enter the fully autonomous BMW R1200GS. It's a prototype motorcycle from BMW Motorrad, but as this video demonstrates, it's capable of riding itself around a test track without a rider. A few years ago, you might think of this as just some clever CGI, and I'll admit, I did have to double take to check the date on the press release. Yet this is real, says BMW Motorrad, and has the potential to dramatically improve motorcycle safety in the future. This self-riding motorcycle was designed and built by a team headed by graduate engineer Stefan Hans, and can even put up and put down its own side stand when accelerating from standstill and coming to a stop. Just like a motorcycle with a rider on board, it also leans into corners a little and appears to counter-steer like a pro. Admittedly, its lean is very sight in the videos we've got, but then again, the bike isn't going all that fast either. So this is very much a prototype. Don't expect to see it on the road anytime soon. Then again, that's not the goal of this machine. I don't think the idea is a self-riding motorcycle. I don't think it would ever catch on. Instead, it's being used to develop the same kind of advanced active safety features you'd find on a modern car. Features which keep the rider and other road users safe. You see, to date, motorcycles have kind of stopped at anti-lock brakes, and having been saved a couple of times by anti-lock brakes on a BMW F800 GS, I can certainly say they seem to do their job. But anti-lock brakes on a motorcycle really just prevent your bike from misbehaving when you're trying to slow down from speed. They can't help you the rest of the time. Which is where this prototype comes in. BMW hopes that by learning how to ride without a rider, its autonomous motorcycle tech can eventually make its way into production bikes to aid riders on the road. BMW says, for example, that a bike fitted with the sensors and technology developed for this self-riding prototype could allow the bike to identify dangerous situations early on, assisting the rider with extra power or appropriate braking, or perhaps even some counter-steering to ensure they don't end up parting company with the bike or worse. I could see this really helping riders cope with unexpected changes in road conditions, such as hitting an unexpected patch of oil on the road or an unexpected manhole cover or metal plate that suddenly appears from underneath the car in front in the morning rush hour. Beyond that, it could have its uses outside of the daily commute, helping first time and experienced adventurers alike keep their bikes upright and safe when weighed down with a full set of Touratech panniers and faced with gnarly roads. I've only done a tiny little bit of off-roading, but I can tell you one thing for sure. The only thing worse than falling off your bike is dropping your bike in a mudfield hole and then falling off your bike. Of course, while it's great to see such safety systems developed for motorcycles, a BMW isn't the only one. Honda's been working on self-balancing and self-riding motorcycles for a number of years. And the biggest challenge here is going to be convincing bikers that they need or want this type of technology. Riding a motorcycle has always been a very authentic experience. When you find a good motorcycle that fits your riding style, it feels like an extension of you. It's a very honest, immersive experience that lets you get away from all of the tech and doodads that you find in today's cars. Being able to lean your bike into corner after corner with just a little push on the handlebars and then just bring it back upright with a little twist of your wrist is, well, beautiful. Whatever tech this leads to needs to make sure that it's implemented in a way that doesn't take away from that raw, honest experience of riding a motorcycle. Because if it means riders feel they're not the ones in 100% control, or that the machine is doing some of the work for them, many will feel that the joy of riding has vanished. Are you a biker? Do you agree? Or do you think this self-riding motorcycle will lead to bigger and better things? Let me know in the comments below. 
And that's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. Subscribe to both of our channels. And if you fancy it, support us by using one of the two links below or by buying something from our shop. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep evolving.